on Friday, I made spinach and cheese muffins on espresso. And today, Michael really is yet to teach me something else we can make with Absolutely. spinach. Yeah. What are we making with spinach well, today? we're going to make a spinach salad. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some, some shredded spinach here, mm -hmm. which I'm going to just... I just want to say that uh, I got this spinach from Pick and Pay, and it's English spinach. Yeah. Don't they have Afrikaans or kind of Zulu spinach? spinach? A different kind What's of English spinach? spinach? This is English spinach. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's English spinach, yes. Absolutely. Is. We, in South Africa, we call Swiss chard, we call that spinach as well. Okay. So by calling it English spinach, it defines, it defines the vegetable. Right, so we're going to put some, some lemon juice here over, this, over the spinach. And this is, the, this is going to provide the, the acid for the salad. And if you say acid for the salad? Well, because you, you're, going to, you're going to have some oil, some oil in the salad as well. So you need that little bit of acidity. And here we have some... Miso paste. Miso paste? What yes. is miso paste? Miso paste is, is made from fermented soybeans. And okay. um, it's used as a, as a, as a flavorant in, mm -hmm. in Japanese cooking. And what and have you just thrown in there now? I put some water in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix it up a little bit. Now, you can make a, you can make a wonderful broth from miso as well. And then you can put noodles into it. Mm. You can put um, shredded spinach into it and make a lovely s quick soup at lunchtime. Do you need me to give you a hand? My hands are in my pockets now. Well, they were. I think you can, I'm going to make you haul them out there just okay. now. Right, so what we've got here is we've got some, some mushrooms cooking. These have just been chopped up very finely and um, now cooking in, in, the, in the pan here. This is what my cookery teacher in London used to call duxel. 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 Very finely chopped mushrooms. It usually has onion in it as well. And the English and word would be finely chopped finely mushrooms. Finely chopped mushrooms, mm. absolutely. English spinach, <laughs> English mushrooms. And one of the things about duxel is you can use it uh, if you're roasting a chicken. You can push it under the skin before you pop it into the oven and just add so much to the flavor. Oh, that's an interesting tip. Absolutely. Right, now, here we've got our, our egg um, and miso. It's a bit of a Scrambled egg omelet sort of type like of an thing. omelet. With your duxel. Absolutely. You like that word, don't I you? I do. Yes. I'm going to throw it out all the time today. Yes. Duxel. I'm have an omelet with some duxel. duxel. Yeah. With my English spinach. Absolutely. Now, we make this very much like an omelet. I'm um, just pull, pulling things into the center and letting the unset egg run down onto the, onto the pan. Now you don't have to be too neat here because this is all going to be, it's all going to be chopped up for the, um, for the salad anyway. So I'm just going to turn it so over. So it is a bit of an omelet. It is egg. exactly mm -hmm. like an omelet. I'm just going to turn it over and cook it gently for there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to um, slice that up, pop it in with the, with the spinach, add some cheese to it, and then some chili oil, which Zola's made us some chili oil here by chopping some chili finely and then just soaking it. In olive oil. Soaking it in, in olive oil, Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. And it smells strong too. It's got that olivey chili yes, mix pepper, together. Absolutely. Mm. I'm just going to cut that in half. Okay. And then toss it, turn it over, and it's getting, you can see it's getting nice slightly brown, brown on, the un, on the underside, which of course is going to, is going to add to the flavor. Mm. And what are these things? Those are, those are rye biscuits, and I'm going to use them um, as a garnish on top of the... Uh, on top of the salad when we serve it. Okay. Right, so that's done. And now we'll just, we'll just chop it up. And then... So it doesn't need to be neat. It doesn't have to be neat at all. That's the wonderful thing about a salad like this, is okay. neatness is not that important. Now, if you need to get any of these recipes and you'd like to try it at home, why don't you SMS us? SMS the word spinach salad, and then we will send you the ingredients to this recipe. 33728 is the number to SMS with the word spinach salad. That's nice, eh? Absolutely. Because if you're shopping, I often try and remember the recipe we make at, at work, yeah. and then I end up getting home Absolutely. from shopping and I've forgotten something. That's uh, a great of way to. Uh... So in the shop, now I can just quickly SMS and I can get the, the recipe with the ingredients and find out what I'm missing. Right. So you've thrown salt, salt pepper, in, pepper. And this is pecorino cheese. Pecorino, pecorino cheese. Pecorino cheese. This is an Italian, Italian cheese which is made um, from sheep's milk. Mm -hmm. And there you have the salad complete. I'm going to grab this plate so we can plate this up. 
There we go. While you're doing that, Michael, just to remind you, if you want to come and cook for us, come and teach me to make something fabulous or teach Michael. We, we're never too old to learn. Absolutely. PNB at expressoshow.com. We'd love to see what creative recipes you are making in your kitchen. You could be like the Espresso Master Chef, basically. Absolutely. Then they just crumble some. We should have a cook-off, Michael. You could judge. Absolutely. You as cook-off. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Espresso chef. Yeah. There you go. There we go. Nice and crunchy. Oh, looks gorgeous. A really you can nice have this for breakfast as well. Absolutely. Well, really I'm nice going to have a bite of this. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, Jen Sue joins us and gives oh, us nice. the latest Hollywood and local celeb updates.